Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about life cycle of gymnosperms. As you know, gymnosperms are sheet bearing vascular plants, but gymnosperm possess naked sheet instead of coded sheet that found in angiosperms. Gymnosperms have a sporophytic dominant life cycle. The gametophytic phase is relatively short lived. Now we are going to discuss complete life cycle of gymnosperm with the help of this cycle. The main plant body of gymnosperm is represented by a sporophyte. So this is the sporophyte. Typically a sporophyte has a stem, roots and leaves and bearing the reproductive structure. A sporophyte develops from the diploid zygote after the process of fertilization. Now we are going to discuss about the gametophyte. A spore germinate to produce haploid gametophytic structure. Gymnosperms are heterosporous. They produce haploid microspores and megaspores. The two kinds of spores are produced within the sporangia that are born on sporophiles which are arranged spirally along an axis to form compact strobili or cone. So this is the female cone and this is the male cone. Male cone grow in the lower branches and female cone grow in the upper branches of the tree. The male cone that called microstrobili contain reduced leaves that called microsporophyll. Microsporangia or pollen sac are born on the lower surface of the microsporophylls. Within the microsporangia there are microsporocytes which undergoes meiotic division to produce haploid microspores. Female cones are called mega strobili may be born on the same plant that bear microstrobili like in conifers or on the separate plants as in cycads. A mega strobili contains many scales like mega sporophylls that contain mega sporangia. So these are the mega sporophylls that contain mega sporangia. Mega sporangia contain mega spore. Within megasporangia, a single diploid cell called megasporocyte is present, which undergoes meiotic division to produce four haploid megaspores, three of which typically degenerate. The remaining one megaspore undergoes mitosis to form the female gametophyte. Now, at this stage, the ovule ready to be fertilized. So, this is the female cone and this is the male cone. Female cone contain megasporangia into which megaspores develop and male cone contain several microsporangia into which pollen grains are developed. Next step is the pollination. Before fertilization can take place, the mature male gametophyte that is pollen grain must be transported to the female gametophyte by the process of pollination. The pollen grain is released from the microsporangium are carried in air current and come in contact with the opening of ovules born on megasporophylls. This opening is called microphylls. So this is the female cone and this scale like structure is megasporangia and they possess a small opening here. This small opening is called microphyll. So if you see in this picture this is the single megasporangia. And this opening is called microphyll. And if you see in this picture, this microsporangia contain single megaspore. So the pollen grain mature further inside the ovule and produce sperm cells. The pollen tube carry the male gamete and grow towards the archegonium in ovules. By the time pollen tube reaches the archegonium both the egg and sperm are fully mature and the egg is ready to be fertilized after syngamy or fusion of gamete the zygote develops into a multicellular embryo of the sheet more than one embryo is usually initiated in each gymnosperm sheet the mature sheet comprises the embryo and the remaining of the female gametophyte which serves as food supply so these are the diploid sheets. Sheets are dispersed and grow into a mature tree that represent a sporophyte. So this is the life cycle of gymnosperm. 
which show alternation of generation between sporophytic and gametophytic phase. So this is all about life cycle of gymnosperm. Thank you.